This is the ignorance you like. Welcome to Irrelevant Ignorance, where sometimes our ignorance isn't always irrelevant. And this is Fans Only. And now, first week is in the books. Yeah, man. We got to look at pretty much every team. Yeah. How y'all feeling so far? I feel like it's going to be a good year. Yeah? I think it's going to be a good year in basketball. For the most part, most part, the teams are what we thought they were. <laughs> pretty much across the board. Um, the Bulls did better in that one quarter than I thought they would do. <laughs> <laughs> Period. <laughs> so, that was surprising. But, you know, end result was where I thought it would be. So. Yeah. How you feeling about the season? Um, I think Golden State is Golden State. Yeah. Uh, I'm just happy they look focused. Yeah. Like they ready to tear it apart. I just want to say I want to put this out here right now. I know it was one game, but the Rockets, I keep saying, I said it last year they was overrated. I think they really overrated this year. Like, the defensive hits they took, they may need to uh, pick up their phone and say, hey, uh, Minnesota, that Jimmy deal still on the table, man. <laughs> I mean, he wouldn't uh, help their problem. They so I'm, small. I'm, I'm, no, I'm, the second that they put Carmelo Anthony at center, See? while Anthony Davis is the opposing center, it's not even it was him, Meriton, <laughs> uh, Randall. Hey, that's why it's just a whole nother level. They just look great. Uh, Honestly, they now they do look great to me because I didn't expect none of this from Meriton that he's doing man, right now because he's going I, crazy. I don't think he's gonna hold it up, but I think he's gonna he probably gonna be about right a dub. He might get a dub a game. Like, right. You, you put a solid 20 next to AD. Yeah. And that's he might. cool. Like, that works. What about, would y'all do this trade? This just popped up because we talking about it. Would y'all move Miritich for Jimmy Butler? No. Mm-mm. You want to put Jimmy Butler with AD? No, because I'm losing the points. We already got the defense. I mean, I, 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 I don't know how that. Are you losing the points? Yeah. Hey. He's a better shooter. Maybe I don't know about that Gentry can handle that. Their problem is they don't have no small forward. They're playing Etoine Moore at the small forward. Etoine Moore is like 6'3", six, 6'4". Six, I mean, it can help both teams. Yeah, and then Miritic is a shooter next to Minnesota Towns. Minnesota ain't taking that straight up, though. I just feel like I'm biased with that. Minnesota, Minnesota, Minnesota like going to have to get something out the, else out that Ain't deal. that another one of Tibbs boys, Miritic? Or was that after Tibbs? Yeah, no, I think he was one of yeah, Tibbs boys. Was, but he going to need something else out of that deal, though. I, I'm, mm, but that's when I think New Orleans be like, because <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, because people just because I don't even know if the money will work. The money might not match up. Miritic, uh, he did, he just got a new contract. Yeah, I still don't think that money gonna match up. I don't know. <laughs> Probably not, but they can figure it out. From yeah, there. but I mean, it could work. Now that you say it, it could work on both sides. Uh, it could definitely work on both sides. I think it'll help. Out, I think it'll be better for Minnesota than the Pelicans. Though. And I think AD want that dog up there. Yeah. Like, he wants something I think like he'll want, I, I just them games with Jimmy not playing well offensively. It's just like Jimmy just better be cool. He 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 be next to a Chicago boy. I don't, I don't think he want that smoke. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe that's what Jimmy need at the same yeah. time though too, because he's not about to talk to. AD well, he like did. That. He did all that with Rose in the building. Rose is a different story. I'm about to say, Rose is probably on his team. And then Rose <laughs> probably ignored it. Like, mm, okay. Rose was like, I tried to tell y'all. <laughs> Told y'all this is the city you go with. Nobody <laughs> wants to listen to me. Well, how about them Lakers? We got our first look. They play tonight against the uh, Rockets, and we won't be able to cover that, of course, because this goes up, whatever. But just that first game with the Blazers. Josh Hart needs to start. I agree. ASAP. I agree. <laughs> like, there's no reason that, like, we seen, like, it was like a, we seen him in summer league. We like, come on, man, it's just summer league. But this boy came out and he produced and Pope did nothing. I think Pope was such a non-factor. You need to just flip-flop them. And if Pope doesn't perform, we got enough guards to to basically push him to the back and, you know, make him disappear. How you feel about him? I mean, I think they're cool. I mean, I just. I'm pretty much going into this season the same way we were with LeBron with the Cavs. Like, I'm not expecting them to be undefeated. They're gonna win some. They're gonna lose some. So, I seen a stat. Have some tough ones. I seen a stat yeah. that LeBron lost the debut of every team he went to. Mm. Man, I'm so tired of this man losing. That, yeah. And that's that be my only beef with this whole being a LeBron fan thing is like sometimes he'd be chilling. Like in the fourth quarter, they was only down by two, and he was still just like coasting. That's why Laker fans. This is about to be brand new to y'all. Y'all used to having uh, 
Kobe going after it and, and trying to put it down and trying to get it over with. Yeah. Nah, LeBron might mess around. He's going to swing the pass. He's going to be down two points and he's going to be just it's chilling in the corner. like a point of he has to. Yeah. Like, sometimes then he's still a little iffy. So, <laughs> Kobe fans, welcome. Think of that in general. This, is, this is about to be just a whole new experience for y'all. What did y'all think about ball? Lonzo? Yeah. I mean, he's still just trying to get his legs to me. That's what I feel, too. Like, nothing over the top. Even if his form is new. So. I like how he stepped into that last three he made, though. Yeah. He was real confident with that one. Yeah, he that knew he made one. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just think the the longer the year goes on with him playing next to Rondo. I think he's going to help. help. I think he's going to start him. That's the only thing I want for Lonzo, really, more than anything right now, is for him to get a voice. Yeah. Because if you play in the point guard, like, you need to be able to say something. Like, you got to take control of the court, and he just be – Like how chilling. Rondo is. Like, right. even when LeBron was leading those huddles, Rondo was still getting his words in. He yeah. was still reiterating. That's Rondo. That bad, though. Because, I mean, Rondo. you got to realize who he's played next to. <laughs> yeah, like, that's a good he's point. He's always played KG next to a, players where KG was he didn't dog. really right, – KG's a dog. That that right off his off he didn't talk. need to say anything. Yeah. Rondo never needs to say anything, but he was going he to. definitely rubbed off, and we could tell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. so – I need some of that to rub off on one. He threw, it, it was the game was pretty much over, but he threw like some bounce pass to LeBron on the like into yeah. the lane. I was like, I don't know if LeBron ever caught one of those before. Yeah. I don't know if anybody ever D Wade threw some cold passes, but I don't know if he came baseline bound bounce pass back. Because hey, he's never really had that pass first. And then yeah. and then I want to talk about because they always talk about we mentioned it or whatever they was talking about the um, how they shot bad from the three point line yeah. and that. What if it was just jitters? Because they started 0 for 15, and after that, they flipped it to 7 for 15. Ain't they home? They home tonight, yeah. They gonna put on the show tonight. That's all I, I think so, too. Mm-hmm. I think so, too. But who was looking at the Lakers as being a great shooting team? Yeah. Nobody, nobody. Yeah, that's why I was nobody. like, I've never... But, yeah. but that's the been, like, said that. that's been yeah. like a problem, though. Like, everybody... you can, How do you survive in today's game without threes? So that's been what everybody's been looking at the Lakers and saying. I think there's going to be a lot of defense, a lot of ball movement, I mean, for the Lakers team. Yeah. They Um, play so fast now. It almost looks sloppy. mm -hmm. I be wanting to be like, all right, slow slow this down. But I I just think when it gets a little further in the season, they're going to catch on. That's that's what I think it's going to be. It's it's, it's like when LeBron first went to Miami. It just looked kind of crazy at first with them all being on the court. But once they got it going – then they was cool. Like, I remember they went through their little streak when they was losing a lot, mm-hmm. even in Miami. And then once they got past that hump, couldn't nobody really up. see them. They'll be all right. Early season favorite so far? Or? Uh, I mean, I really, I'm just I'm just glad basketball is back. Like, ultimately, I just yeah. want to see everybody play. Early season favorite. And then this goes against almost everything I was saying last week. What was it? Tatum was hooping. Hey, <laughs> hey, you see some of that Kobe in him, man. Yeah, hey, bro. Man. You see some that, of that Kobe. Them plays when the B was, he was on him. Hey, he just, man. it was dropping. We might be looking at something special. Look. It's hey. just crazy. He could have been on the Sixers, bro. That would have been so. That's, that's the, that's the, that's the uh, that Sixers, would have been crazy. Lakers, man, it's just, it's, it's interesting. Like, this young bull is going to be, Doing work, yeah, he's like, for the next. He's a problem. He's, call, he's years. out there calling his own number. Yeah. Like he's on some. All right, scoot out the way. Here we go. Post game looked nice. Kyrie was doing what I said. Kyrie does. You know, he was he was struggling. How did he do last night? You know, no, nah, he did better. Last he did night. better yeah. last night. Yeah. Okay. He did do better last night. That's why I wanted to talk about the about oh, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> those things where he had to get it. I mean, he did have to get his legs under him too. Trying to hit it. I don't care. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Well, okay. but NBA made some you know, they're thinking about making some changes. I heard they stalled out on the talk. They think about raising the G League's uh, their wages and everything and introducing the one and done, but taking it out of college and putting it into the G League. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. How y'all feeling? At first, I didn't really care about it, but as I started to look into it, I just it kind of. Made me wonder about some things that may sway it to the positive side. Like, um, if it's the ESPN 100 or the ESPN 300, because you know you got like how how would they how would they determine that? Well, 
high school players are ranked from hundreds to three hundreds. But what are you determining um, what though? Like what players like can go? Could, yeah, because you still got some of the. You still got some of the elites that will fall down into the three hundred, like the, the the beginning of the uh, like I mean not fall down, but like a little past the hundred. Mm-hmm. So it's like if they did it, like what? Because it's gonna be a lot of them at first, I think more so than anything, like the ones that's outside of the one hundred. Mm-hmm. Um, it's gonna be but a I couple thought, that's inside the hundred. I too. thought they already like pretty much made their determination that you have to be a Team USA member. Team USA member. Yeah. Like you had to play for Team USA to even be considered. Okay. For what that is, and I mean, because it's the talks are still stalling and everything. But how do you feel about it with these kids being able to? I like it. Yeah. I like it because I, I I I was never really a big fan of the forcing a kid to go to college for one year. Mm-hmm. Like to me, it just doesn't make a waste of a scholarship. Since it, exactly, rather than somebody that's going to play out point. that full scholarship, that's or not point. even a full, but not just one and done to school. Mm-hmm. Like it's certain schools where literally they're almost they're starting five one and done every year. Plus, if you change coaches, like it's a lot of things that fall into play with that as well. Like mm-hmm. you go there for a year and you plan on staying, but then. You know, you got the coach that, that gets fired because he didn't have a good season, and then you know you're not that new coach guy. So it's like uh, for the transfer, or I'm just gonna declare. I mean, it's it should have never. I think it should have never came down to uh to the uh to the one that done because at the end of the day, you still have players that we know we could still go down the line now and say he was ready, he was ready, he was ready. Mm-hmm. I mean, one of the ones that's coming off the top of the head, Ben Simmons was ready. Hands down, he could have came in straight out of high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's just like look at the players that we like today. Yeah, Even the ones that retired, they came out of high school, and it's just like if it wasn't a one, like if they had to go to college, then like really, why? Like really, yeah. what would have been the purpose? Like clearly, score twenty and then right. go right to the NBA. Exactly. Like, like clearly, that. Kobe did need to go to college. Yeah, LeBron did not need to go to college. But like, I, don't, I don't feel like the NBA fixed that though. Because uh, there is still something in between high school and NBA ball. It's the G League or whatever. But it's, that, that's my thing is it's basketball. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's my whole point is that it's basketball. You still can go to the draft like after that one year. Right. It's, and it's, it's just like it's, 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 my thing is them just playing basketball yeah. rather than yeah. them going to NBA school. Facilities. Some of them need the money. That was, right. A, that was a really good point that you brought up about the whole scholarship thing. I, I haven't even heard that like. Even being really brought up, that. like, the fact that these student-athletes are coming and robbing these schools of these scholarships that could have went to somebody that's going to stay in school and maybe basketball wasn't going to be – maybe the NBA isn't their end thing. Yeah. But that scholarship could have went to somebody that – that was a good point, man. Yeah, we making right. points on that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know about that one. But my thing is with uh, this stuff, I have, I have some fears. And, like, uh, one of them is because – these kids got to get drafted after that. Yeah. So I'm sure it's going to be a G League draft, probably to draft them onto the G League team. And my thing is, the G League is full of 20, 30-something-year-old hoop dreams. They still ready to hoop. They they got rookies that are not doing too good on main rosters, coming back down to try and prove themselves and get their grit. And then they're going to shove these high school kids into that. My fear is they get shoved into that. Because, of course, there's the LeBrons and the Kobe. Well, I won't even say Kobe because I'm not using Kobe as an example. The LeBrons and the Ben Simmons. and uh, I mean, that's really pretty much it that was ready instantly to me that came out. Mm -hmm. And I just have a fear that they're going to get into these games and these adults are going to go hard on them and trash their draft stock. And now we're going to possibly be hearing horror stories about these kids that skipped college Took this two hundred and some, or whatever the amount was. I think it's one twenty five. It's one twenty five k, and then now their whole basketball career is over because see. they got exposed playing against adults. I don't know, but about, I, feel, I, I don't know about that. See, see but I know. just feel like if you get exposed playing against the adults in the, in the G League, anyway. this this wasn't for you anyway. Because then, because even with the one and done. But then that, cre- but that's just the horror story that I'm talking. Because the one and done is a supposedly a horror. It's supposedly a horror thing. Because mm-hmm. if you make it to the NBA and you, you like, let's say the Ben Simmons example, you made it. Like, where's the horror for you? I'm sure you got some money under the table, and that was my next problem with it was 
these college teams are now about to start matching that money. Mm-hmm. Like they needed to from the jump. But it's illegal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They need but they needed to try to figure out a way to to uh give the college players some money. Because that was that was one of the fears too that yeah. we got the I mean, we all were college students at one point. Mm-hmm. We go down to school, it's like and not even student athletes, just as regular students, it's hard to survive down there. You gotta like you gotta work, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And if you're a student athlete, it's hard to juggle both of them. Like these kids weren't really going to class like that. Now I'm not saying all of them, mm-hmm. but you know you got a handful that's they they constantly on the road because they traveling because they playing games and stuff. So they ain't really got time to do their work. So at the end of the day, they like man, well, do I got you, no money. What I'm gonna do? Well, do you see this like uh changing things? Like do you see like the influx? Like not an influx because of course it's not even enough players to even go through this process. But do you see this actually becoming a thing? I think they're barely going to get players in the top five. That's when when yeah. I say like yeah. like at I each position you got top five at each position. I think they may get the they may get the fifth or sixth best shooting guard, mm-hmm. small four, power four. They're not going to get the number one players unless they're just coming straight out of property. And most of them, I to a certain extent, basketball is starting um, to become a suburban game. It's not it's quiet. They're as not as struggling. At, they're not. A lot of them aren't. They're not struggling like they used to. Or like. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. I just think that um, it's it's a gamble. Yeah, it could work. It may not work, and we don't know what we'll we'll see with the players coming out. Like, will they be able to convince enough uh, potential number one overall pick to to you fly? Think it's gonna I don't think so. Up. But you think it's gonna switch up a start a trend going on? No, I, I mean I don't, I don't think it'll be a big thing. Yeah, pretty much like you were saying, like. I think a lot of people are more cautious with taking somebody out of high school just because mm-hmm. there's been so many busts. Mm-hmm. It has, yeah. like, I mean, of course, you still got your KDs, your LeBrons, your Kobe's, but you got a lot of people that just. Yeah, I mean, you know these people by name. If you right. know these people by name, the list is fl- is flawed. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. It's it's because I I know a few came out of high school and it's just like not even bad, but it's just like he could have went to college. Like Tyson Chandler could have went to college. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, took some he, was, he was good, but he, he college Wami probably Brown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. Bobby <laughs> Brown. The only reason why I don't see it changing anything, though, is because college basketball is still like, there's something still to say for playing college basketball, the allure of yeah. it. Like, unless the G League can convince us to go to these games, they're going to be playing in empty gyms. They're, unless the NBA put them on league pass. Ain't nobody gonna be watching them. I like the 125k too, though. Yeah. Oh, the money ain't the problem. I yeah. like that too. Yeah. And, and it's only I, I like for that. a year because you still can get your endorsements if you're that type of player. Yeah. Right. And Ultimately, I, I like the amount that it is because, to me, rather than just throwing an NBA and them getting bigger contracts than even that, hopefully it could teach some type of financial yeah. stability. Yeah. That's because this ain't it's not his, coming into right. the league. It's not as much money, but I mean, it's still a lot of money for somebody that's 18, 19. Like, and they'll still try to blow it. So at least they'll get right. some type of money management without going to college. Right, and they're not digging as big of a hole. Yeah, mm-hmm. It's still a pretty big hole. And I think they're supposed to be taking classes and stuff while they're... Like, the NBA ain't letting high school kids come to the NBA still. That's still not happening. Right. They yeah. still got to go so and... Look, you got to still got to... Wait a minute. Yeah, you still mm-hmm. got some learning to do before you hit here, but... But they can't get called up, right? That's the only thing. No, no, they can't get yeah, called so up, no. you got to stay there. And that's kind of weird, too, because, you know, these G League teams are linked directly yeah, to these NBA teams. Yeah, everybody and, got one now. Yeah, and now, like, let's say... Um, I'm going to use Zion because that's just on my mind right now. And uh, let's say he did this G League thing and he got drafted to the Windy City Bulls and Chicago get to see him for that little bit of time. And then when he gets to the real draft, he's bounced out of Chicago. That's just kind of weird to me. Oh, yeah, that? I forgot. Because uh, you sure do. Because you, you, you can't to, pull him up. You'll have to. Yeah. It's almost like a red shirt. Yeah. Because yeah. you do have to is, go yeah. through the regular draft. Because it, it'd be like a D lead select. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what they'll call you when they do the draft. I yeah. forgot I've seen that a couple of times. And then it's supposed to pick up pretty much around the time little, little LeBron come out. So we're going to have a nice little decision thing. I'm sure he's going to have a, the G League, the hats for the school, and yeah. plan Hopefully. something else. Somebody like you. him, I hope he just goes to school. And get it. I do too. <laughs> but if, it, if they want to succeed, 
that's the type of player they need to go ahead and make that yeah. decision. But I mean, with all of these athletes, kids coming up now, like I'm sure somebody, yeah, some of them got some solid somebody, kids. Yeah. So we're gonna be like, oh my, like a ball. Yeah, I like, wonder if Melo can qualify for that. Yeah. Yeah, if, they, if he, he can, is he, he, he going into his senior year, right? He, he'll be he'll be a senior this year, next year. Oh, it'll, it'll be too soon then, because they ain't even rolling out to like twenty twenty two. Oh no, no, because yeah. he'll be yeah. eligible for uh, what the twenty twenty draft technically, I think. Most likely, yeah. yeah. So this he won't even catch. Oh, he's so close. <laughs> he's gonna draft him here. Yeah, because you know he you know where he was gonna go play for, try to play for. Yeah, yeah. the L A. Defenders or whatever they call. Yeah, so I mean, <laughs> but let's switch up to these. Uh, get back to the NBA talking. Let's talk some awards. This is a little preview of what we think is gonna happen at the end of the year. And actually, let's just kick it off with the most improved player. Who do y'all think is taking that? We, we're gonna do. Let me just even clarify. I want who you think is gonna win, and just a little sleeper pick that who might win for some of these. So, most improved. Josh Hart. For that's the one you think is gonna win. I think I think he's gonna win. Um, That's a good pick. I don't think Josh. <laughs> no, I think, I think they're gonna end up making an adjustment to slide him into the starting lineup. Mm-hmm. You gotta remember, he averaged about like what uh, six, seven, eight points somewhere around there last year. I could see him putting up like 15, 16. Oh, I uh, about Josh Hart. And then my uh, my under the radar player would be a uh, Ball. I think he's gonna probably he's probably gonna up his points and. Yeah. I don't think stuff. Ball. No, that was my and his percentages too. That was under radar. I think his percentages are gonna go up too. So it's not just about his 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 uh overall like points per game, mm-hmm. but I think his percentages are gonna be a lot better this year. Mm-hmm. Well, I kind of want to piggyback off what you had said last week. His, his first game didn't really show me that, mm-hmm. but it's like I was thinking, folks, like you know, health is gonna come into play, and you know he's had a little bit of. Injury and all of this extra going on. He was looking around. a little fluky. He was looking very fluky. <laughs> I'm trying so, to tell you. Like, hopefully he can, you know, get that into motion. And then, uh, I also had Lonzo as my secondary come up because I really just think the LeBron and the Rondo, like, it's going to rub off. Some got some got a shape. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how I feel. Like, you got both of them on your team. Something got to happen. So, I'm, I'm thinking either one of them. Well, my most approved, I am going fault. Because I just stuck to, the, I'm just sticking to my guns. Let's see what happens. He's still trying to get his, trying to figure out the NBA too. And then my underdog, I'm going Karis LeVert for the Brooklyn Nets. Yeah, I forgot about him. He <laughs> showed me doing good his first few games. You seen the game winner against the Knicks? We'll talk yeah. about that later. That's we, not a topic. It is a topic. Not... We got to recap something. We oh, that, gonna... that hurt That hurt a little bit. Mm. <laughs> What's um what's next? Defense. <laughs> Who you got for defensive player of the year? Who you going with that? Oh, I'm riding with AD. A- oh, I should have picked AD. <laughs> Absolutely, I'm riding with AD. He's just he's AD. Towns is nervous. Mm-hmm. Some I don't no, know Towns what's going on with him. So that opened that up that much more. Like it's AD. I just think he he they, he better get something. And who you think is your underrated? Uh, underrated. You know that's a little tough. Yeah. <laughs> Who you got? I knew I knew people was gonna say AD, so I was like, I want to be a little different. I'm gonna go Joel and be. That's um, different. <laughs> I just yeah. I, I feel like he still he has, it. I feel like he still has a shot. Um, he's a, he's a pretty good defender. Um, didn't look too good <laughs> first game, but honestly, he did take him up, take him score. He blocked Jalen Brown. I don't care nobody said. So I mean, but I just I just feel like as the season progressed, it'll start to stand out and show more. Yeah, it was game um, one. Under the radar, I'd say I think KD again. Like people, people, it was a lot of talks last year, and I think they may get mm-hmm. uh, a couple I of. Think about that. I, I think about. I'm thinking that a, a few more voters may look and really watch his game this year and see how he changes that team. Because he's been a defense. little vocal about it this year, mm-hmm. so I think people will. That's a good pick. That, that's KD what I had is, is mine. KD. Yeah, KD is a good pick, as much as I don't want to say that. Because it's not just about, it's, it's, it's <laughs> why, why, yeah. Tony, why Tony Allen has been so good in the past on defense was because it's it's not really just the stats. It's literally just what he does for that team. Mm. So it's like they're going to probably just look at his overall impact on that team's defense. Yeah, I had him as my underrated pick as well, but I got Gobert winning it this year. 
You can never go wrong with that. Yeah, then he won a couple times. He on my fantasy team, so he yeah. needs to win. <laughs> well, all right, we're here at six man of the year. Uh, my six man. Mm-hmm. Got to ride with Eric. Eric Gordon. Okay. That's, that's my boy. I just feel like I was always, even back when it was him and Lou Will, both on the bench, like I just felt like that's the perfect player to come up behind somebody like James Harden. Like, why? Like, he can do everything you need him to do off the bench. And it's just like, you ain't got to worry about too much. You're going to get them little buckets you need and everything off the bench almost every time. And I'm comfortable with that as long as he don't get hurt. Yeah. yeah. That's all I need is for him not to get hurt. And that's why I'm right away every time. See, I had my backup. As Lou Will, but I'm not sure if Lou Will comes off the bench. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he does. <laughs> <laughs> so, my backup is a little shaky a right now. <laughs> my backup a little shaky. I won't lie. So, I, I'm going to have to get back with that. Where you looking? Uh, I actually had Eric Gordon, too. As um, the sixth man of you? Yeah. At the end of the day, seeing what he did last year, you know, like you said, it's the perfect backup for Harden. It's long. You know what I'm saying? He can shoot. He does. He he's gonna do the little things that you need him to do, in the little spots you need him to do it. So I just feel like Air Gordon is a great pick to just say he's gonna win six man. But under the uh, under the radar is uh, Julius Randle. Hmm. Julius Randle. Yeah. He's been hooping. He, he's played better than I thought. It was from the pan out yeah. too. Yeah, I thought he was but, way too uh, funny. Isn't what's his name off the bench? L. A. Lance. Yeah, he is. Yeah. And he ain't going to get nothing. No, no, no. I don't think he's going to get nothing. <laughs> but I think Lance is going to get some blood of the year. Nah, he ain't going to get nothing. But, but I did. That's why I was asking earlier about the Rondo thing. Mm. Because if Rondo was off the bench, which I think he will be Eventually. with some time, mm. like that's somebody I would kind of have as a secondary too. Because I think with them, with LA, I think this is about to be almost like a resurgence. Like this is going to be one of Rondo better years in a while. Mm-hmm. I think. Huh. I want to go with my underrated first. My underrated. I'm going Carmelo. He's whoa. He's underrated. <laughs> underrated. 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 Oh, Jesus. <laughs> underrated. Hey, listen. I wasn't going to say listen. that. <laughs> listen. You bold for that one. Um, Let's say they go get it together and they start running through the West again. I mean, we don't know. We'll see what I, I know. <laughs> and then let's say he just becomes Carmelo Anthony we always know him for the bench. He could bust ninety percent of the NBA's bench. Yeah, the bench. Yeah, yeah that's all he got. But do. he has to accept that role too. I don't think he got a choice. I mean, you know, I think he's he forced to come. Yeah, because he gonna come in like mm, I hate this. <laughs> he just go. Maybe then he'll be like, like well, I'm gonna just jack off. Like all you the remember the there. play when he was still in Denver when he just laid on the ground. And they, and they kept going. Like, I think we go see a lot of that. They bench him. No. Yeah, Chris Paul is smack. No, well, he's yeah, just man. gonna be a smack player. All right, man. <laughs> they on the same team. Man. Like he can wait on buses down. They're gonna be on the same <laughs> bus. <laughs> and then my pick for six man of years, Terry Rozier. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, I didn't even good. think about that. That is a good one. That's a good one. He's, Hey, he he wants that spot. Look, we about to have to put Kyrie on six. Why you messed spot. up with that pick is because he may get traded somewhere down the line. I think he gonna get traded, and so he gonna end up a starter somewhere. I think. I mean, uh, he can always have that. Yeah, I think yeah. he could start. Just young. I mean, but I'll where Reggie Jackson <laughs> is a starter in the NBA. Rosier uh, can start. You, I'm sorry. That's a good point. That's valid. <laughs> hey, I ain't got that's that's super and Reggie Jackson, I still feel like somebody could take his spot because this stuff ain't he solidified. He's a mean six man too. Like yeah. if he went back to his role he had with the Thunder. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, Rosier. Oh, get him. Put him I on mean, the Pistons. That, hey, I, you just it, yeah. That, hey, like a super word, man. That that might be a good uh, swap, low key. Swap. Reggie Jackson and all I'm not Rosier. sending Reggie to the to the Celtics because I don't think he want to be a bench player. You You're gonna have to send be. Reggie send Reggie to Phoenix. They need a point guard and they don't care how they get one. Well, they may be calling yeah. for Rosier. Oh. They may be calling oh. for. Rosier. Oh, <laughs> we, we bring us, you on. might need a GM job. Oh, oh. <laughs> we about to take somebody job. We take a job job. Man, look, man. <laughs> a rookie of the year. I'm sticking with my guns. Oh, yeah. gotcha. <laughs> Luka Dodgers. How did he do in that first game? He did. He shot. Um, he started off, like, good, and then he ended up shooting a lot. One thing I will say about him, though, is he is aggressive. Yeah. And, oh, he, yeah. He, and like, a lot of the plays he made on the assist side, they were pretty good looks. Yeah. Um, 
I think as he gets into the season, he's going to be able to feel the game out more and he'll shoot better and play better. But, I mean, for, from the rebounding stance and, and assist stance, he looked good. Who your um, sleeper? Who was my sleeper? Let me see. <laughs> oh, Jaron Jackson. Oh, Memphis. Yeah. That's He's coming off pick. the bench. That's good. So, pick. I don't know. I think he, he'll be solid. <laughs> yeah, I think he'll be pick. solid. I don't know. Like, the ring is just, like, so early on right now. This is one. Yes. Like he may mess around and get in the start lineup, too. I like, um, I like him. But I had seen how – I didn't even see him actually play. I seen the highlights of it. I don't know his name. He played for the Thunder. Uh, uh I, I know who you're talking about, but it, 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 he's one of those players I'm not going to remember his name. He a rookie? Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. He's shooting guard, small guard. Yeah, 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 guard. Light yeah. skin? No, not really. No. Like, I, know they, like, I know they brought brown. him a guard. Yeah, like like Russ, yeah. a little darker than Russ. Yeah, I consider Russ a little on the like. I'm, yeah, Brown had a bad test. Yeah, but, <laughs> but my rookie of the year, I'm going Aiden. I think, I think gonna, that's yeah. who I was going to pick. Yeah, he looked, he looked better than I thought he was going to yeah. look. I think it's just going to be that, but it's just I also want to see how that pans out through the yeah. year too. Like yeah. I, 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 he looked tired too. He looked like he had got gassed in that game. I want to, I want to see uh, Sexton still. I, I want to see how that pans out. They need to just go in and start and while they playing. Who Sexton? Yeah. yeah, George Hill making too much money. You got to let that. You got to get your money's worth. Man, forget all that. I understand. That's how I feel. I swear. I, I swear. I swear. That's I how I feel. I understand. But man, just, Look, just let that ride. Like, he going to get traded, though. George Hill's going to moved out of there. Yeah, he's going to get traded. He's going to go right back to the bench where he belongs. I should have used him as a, a <laughs> rookie pick. But I'm going Lonnie Walker on some being a homer with the Spurs. When is he going to be back? That was the thing. That's why I was like, Because uh, if he was health, if he was fully healthy, I might have He shouldn't be out that him. long. About, he about messed his meniscus up, so it might be just a couple months. About two months. Yeah, probably. Probably he'd be back in December, probably in January. That's on time. Yeah. There's still enough time to come in and make some noise and yeah. potentially. Some time, as long as Aiden doesn't go crazy right now. I don't think yeah. he's gonna go crazy, but I think like I think the rig of the year gonna be kind of like uh, it's gonna be. We don't know who's the clear cut because a lot of people still trying to feel themselves out. Like mm-hmm. and see, that's what I feel right now. That's why it was so hard for me to really pick on that. Like when it was Ben, honestly, Ben Simmons shouldn't have got it. Even though that's my man's. I think he should have. You think he should have got it over, um, yeah, what's his name in Utah? Yeah. I don't I don't think think so. That's kind of that's kind of tough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That did. Bro. <laughs> oh, but you know, we might have to bring that one in. I had, mono, I had yeah, it. I don't want to go against Ben, man. But one of my main reasons for that was they did it for Blake, so you had to do it for Ben. And no, so, that, that's, that's not my it. issue. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's, that's one of my things. Like, had they not did it for uh, Blake, then I'd be then like, okay, I would yeah. say Donovan deserve it. But you, you can't just give Blake the uh, rookie of the year when he sat out his first year and yeah. not give it to Simmons. No, that's not my yeah. issue. I just think Donovan played amazing. Like, it just Are you bringing it. the playoffs into that or no? Yeah. So, yeah the playoffs so, don't count. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Bro. That's why they need to stop. <laughs> That's why they need to stop yeah. announcing these awards. They should do the so first late. round at least. I think they should do the first round at least. What, like, the, I'm, I'm talking about the like let the first round go before they I think decide. they should just count the whole thing. If you're going to do it after the season, which they're not going to change because they want this award show and they want the money from it, to count it all. Because you're not going to show me this pick after the – how do you show me that – after the NBA Finals, after I watched Donovan Mitchell, well, if James Harden messed around and got eliminated the first round, well, right. he eliminated himself. And LeBron went to the Finals, right. Yeah. Right. And now the final category, the MVP, which we should all be on the same page here. I want to go first. Go no. ahead. I want to go first. Uh, I'm gonna say my MVP uh, is LeBron. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's just the Laker jersey. That's it. No. <laughs> but my under the radar, though, my under the that. radar, my sleeper is gonna be Kawhi. That's a good one. I just feel I like think he about that. I feel like we know LeBron. Like, what he finna do for the Lakers? It's obvious. Like, it's gonna show that he should win MVP this year more than any any of his previous years for real. Because he's gonna he's gonna re re uh re channel that energy to L. A. That we've been missing since Kobe and Magic and all of that, and I think that Showtime is back. So at the end of the day, uh, with his turnaround for the Lakers and them making the playoffs, that's big for basketball. So that's why he's gonna win MVP. Kawhi is just like what you said last week. 
Dude, I the swear he made me look man. at it so <laughs> different. <laughs> look, I swear. And dude. we see it. And and they, uh, what did he just have? He had 31 last night. Yeah, 31. And to like me, 20. that was a, such a quiet 31. He's in like, like 27 and, and like 13, 14 yeah. right now. I, I Like five assists. You I know, know Kawhi, but I ain't know Kawhi had to pull up three on the fast break. Yeah. I ain't know, I ain't know that looked was like He ain't lost a step. And nope, everybody was complaining. Like, I'd be kind of salty if I was the Spurs, honestly, right now. Because he's. They shouldn't be salty, though. It's just how they treated him yeah. on the way out. That's more so with the salty. I mean, because, I mean, he was leaving. Yeah. No matter what. But it's just ultimately. the way that you. That's I, another one where I, if I was the Spurs, I might have just not traded him. Right. Because I want to see Kawhi Leonard, who who struggles with a shoe deal, I want to see him walk away from an extra $50 million. Just do that for me. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I think the Spurs still got something good out of that, and we'll get to that in a little bit, too. How you looking at MVP? Uh, LeBron, yeah. I, I did. That's why I was so shocked when he said it. I mm-hmm. did not see that coming. I just think, like he said, new team, showtime, big stage. Mm-hmm. I think he's just going to he's going to perform and it's going to show through the team mm-hmm. because LA has had such a downtime lately. Mm-hmm. Seeing them be more so on the upward, you can't ignore it. Yeah. Like you just simply can't. My secondary is AD, yeah. it, but it's just it that all that's goes on. Time. That all goes on them having a winning season or not. Yeah. That, that's that's the, the Lakers main thing. Lakers don't have to have a winning season for LeBron to win MVP. Like, I'm talking about, if, they, if they're if they the eight seed, he's still going to win MVP. No, I wouldn't I th- say I think so. I, I think, think it's so going to be like the rush. It's, 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 it's uh, like when Russ got it and they didn't I just play think Super that, That's how much history, of the M- – Rose broke, hit, broke history, but I think LeBron still going to have a lot That's going to be a very dangerous eight seed, though. I mean, no, it's not. They're facing the Warriors. Yeah, I look. I'm about to say, I, I love, I love LeBron, but they, they're gonna push the Warriors to the to the to the limits. What limit? Five? Nah, you got, six. Gotta I'm about to say, no, you got to relax. Nah. Six. Nah. You know, this is a very un Golden State table. Look, we got. But we gonna Stevenson. be honest at this table. Hey, look, we got Lance Stevenson. We just we gonna have him trip right. Curry. You know what? Because he's talking crazy, so I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay on the topic of craziness because my underrated pick is a crazy one, and I don't think nobody agree. But I guarantee, if my man's could finish in the top like couple in the West, who bro? Demar Derozan. Close your book. Demar Derozan. Close your book. Demar Derozan, bro. <laughs> no. He, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> After all the Spurs have been through, no. if he could lead them to a no. number three seed in the West, no, he's not even gonna be in no. consideration. Period. No. No. Okay. no, I understand that's a no. personal favorite okay. for you. No, <laughs> and, but that's why. No. But that's why. But he's underrated. That's why that's it's your underrated. Can I get to Hell no. <laughs> that's, that's, that's why. That's why they're there. Uh, on that's my Stephen A. Smith. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, nah. Shout out Stephen A. Smith. And, yeah. No. And, 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 hey, look. and my MVP is LeBron, like everybody else. We move on from there. And cause I, let's just keep LeBron at the table because we have a, a special mano y mano this week. Mm. We got mm. on one side of the table, LeBron James. <sighs> on the other side of the table, Kevin Durant. And, uh, I think Go. we got some opposition. Hey, right, with this mano we mano. <laughs> so wants to start it off? No, I, I. I feel like, you know, it's only right I go first. I, mean, I believe I made you go first last yeah, time. Yeah, because so, I, you know, I don't know about this one. Yeah, okay, you you don't know. No, I don't, I don't know about participating. Oh, no, okay. No, you will. Well, but, one, okay. Before you even go, just a reminder. Mano we mano, one, one, teams aside. What's going on? No. Okay. okay. Right. No. Okay. Because that's how it was last okay. time. And we got to bring it up teammates uh, and stuff. Yeah. No. Right. no. 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 I'm telling you right let me, let me have mine. Right, you and have you know, yours. Let me have mine. Right. But I'm telling you right you now. You have yours. I got you, some stuff. You talking on my time. You talking on my time right now. Now, we going to go. We going to take it back. Okay. We going to take it back. Take it back. We going to take it way back. Way back. All right. We going to talk. Your player. In comparison to my player. And this is further ahead if you can't notice. All right? That's what that means. So, let's go back to KD and the Thunder. Now, KD has always been, you know, elite, uh, top scorer. Pretty much that. The top scorer. Now, I'm going to do like you did last week. And let's say let's not throw stats into this. Let's just throw, you know, chemistry, all of that, what you bring to the table. K 
KD, in my opinion, what KD brought to the table was, you know, filling the stats. It was great. It was entertaining. But then when it came up time to close it out, he lost. That's been the issue his whole career. When it came up time to finish it off, he lost. <sighs> Furthermore, this is why he ended up where he is today, Golden State. So when the pressure comes up, he can be just fine. He can be just okay because he went to the team that had one of the better seasons. Well, one of the best seasons. Lost to him. The, the best season. Lost to him in a series that he should have won because, once again, couldn't finish it off. Lost to him. And he said, you know what? If you can't beat him, join him. I'm never, ever <laughs> going with somebody with that mindset over LeBron James. Because he's not. Called out his mindset. Right there. That mindset is never going over LeBron James. Ever. KD on that LeBron team that beat Golden State. Got one there. That's just how I feel. Now, you can have the floor. I might step back in, you know, eventually. But, you know, I just wanted to set the, set the tone. Set, set, set the, the tone, mood, you know. You know? Like the candles, you know, I get the scent you. going. I feel you. I'm about to blow these candles out. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. Try to get the scent going, man. Man, forget your scent, man. <laughs> it's LeBron. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what I mean? Hey. First of all, I respect LeBron. Okay. Then you have no you choice. Know. But, you know. One of the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. D. Uh -huh. One of the greatest of all time. D. I like that D. <laughs> I like that D. The greatest lady. See, but you know, that's enough. We get spicy. We, we going back. Go. We know that LeBron uh, was the one that shattered Katie's dreams way, way back in the day. And then, you know, Adam crying on his mom. I know, so, man. That was, just, very, that was just hurt. It was a very sentimental moment. I swear. <laughs> but then, you know, Katie elevated herself. Um, <laughs> taking a step, um, basically taking a page out of LeBron books, somewhat. You um, better fix it. Somewhat, <laughs> somewhat. You yeah, better I, fix I, it. See, I, I had to throw that somewhat in there. If the situations aren't the same, definitely not, but they're pretty similar. LeBron basically opened the door for players to move around a lot more, mm. and whether you like it or not. That is true. LeBron didn't open that door. He did. That door's been open. Nah. It's been open for quite nah. some time. But continue. You know, so, this is your floor. When KD, I think when KD made that transition going over to uh, Golden State, it basically showed his overall game. It, it basically put it in the spotlight as far as offense, defense. Like, he's just he's just been a, a, a all-around great player, as in – and um, OKC, we just known him for his scoring. Like he just was a scoring machine over there, and it felt like he was playing against Westbrook all the time. Mm -hmm. Now in Golden State, he's just just playing where he's just picking and choosing his spots to be so, great. Basically, and, okay, go ahead, go ahead. And at the end of the day, I mean, everybody um, would love to have other players that they can actually play with. Um, LeBron picked his teams. He did. Did he not? I'm just saying. He wanted Kevin Love. He got Kevin Love. He just didn't get Kyrie to stay. But when when they when they knocked out Golden State that one year, that that very very great 73 win team. Um, that lost to LeBron in the finals. Yeah. yeah. Okay. KD yeah, basically. Yeah. KD basically came to the rescue. It just you turn that team, and now they back to back champions. Probably going to three P. I mean, you know, I think we can all agree they they more than likely three P, and that's fine. And we know that KD was the reason they won them championships. The the, the last two, he he really was, he really was. <laughs> and we if you want to be, him. if you really want to be huh? technical, beat them without him. And you really want to be technical. Once. And you really want to be technical. Like, like, <laughs> let's not make it seem like. Because <laughs> you really, like, you really make it Cleveland. seem like if you want to talk we were about just Cleveland. whooping it without KD. And if you want to talk about <laughs> Cleveland, struggle. they won the one that championship 
without Kyrie. Because the first oh, year. Oh, they wouldn't have won without LeBron the first either, year, bro. The stop first doing year. that. Let me get back to Kyrie. Dude, the first year. No, 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 no. That. The first year when Kyrie went down, that hurt them. Yeah, LeBron was carrying them through the whole playoffs. And when He's Kyrie tired. went down. Now, when both no of them breaks. was on the court. I get no breaks and then I got to go against Golden State by myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna lose. <laughs> now, when both of them was on the court, man, Golden State. I mean, granted, Draymond. They, Draymond got screwed. We know that once that went down, it was over with for them. It was lit. <laughs> it was over with for them. Y'all was happy. It was, it was over with for them. So all I'm saying that, like, like KD came into the, KD <laughs> came to Golden State. Basically, like we know that Steph's team. We know that Steph team. But in actuality, like real talk, like KD was like, "Look, man, we know this is your city, but I'm about to put y'all on my back." Watch this. And that's what he did in the playoffs. That's what he did. Uh, sweeping your way through the entire playoffs. I don't know if that's necessarily throwing something on your back. Yeah. I, mean, yeah. I, mean, I, feel, I feel like you're gassing this situation for KD quite a bit. I'm quite a bit. You're saying that he left the team where he was the focal point. We couldn't Meaning. tell. Meaning. <laughs> we could tell. Yeah. I mean, I feel like it was still no debate. We knew KD I mean, was the better KD. player. Of KD, the two, KD was the better of him player. and Russ. So he left the team where he was the focal point. Yeah, and he went to a team where he's not the focal point. He, I mean, he's the where he's point. not getting the doubles, as we can see in the playoffs. Because if you double him, you're gonna leave Steph open. You're gonna leave Clay open. Pick that's the purpose. Pick what you want. I pick what you said. want. No, no, that's what I'm saying. That's what he's telling the defense. In Miami, you know, who was you doubling? Like pick it. That's why I'm saying it's not the same. Yeah. I'm just saying, who was you doubling in Miami? That's that's my point. That's what is it? What do you mean? They could double and leave. They, Wade could be open at the three. Y'all can let him have that. Man, they were leaving Chalmers. They, they, they let people all the time. It's it is not the, it's not the same. They leaving Dre Dre. <laughs> now. 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 It they just got like that. Stuff, it man. just got like that. Because Draymond was having, I don't know what happened. But Draymond's a little different right now. Yeah. I don't know if it's the money or what. Draymond get it together. Well, not really. Actually, I'm fine with you playing with you. That's at. a future Nick right there. Yes. No, it's not. Watch. Don't you wish that on me. Hey, <laughs> so, watch. like I was still just saying, now he's at a point where he doesn't have to really be the focal point. And as you can see in the playoffs, because he was dunking everything because there was nothing in the middle. You put LeBron in that same situation. It'd be Is Katie a better player over. now than he was in OKC, yes or no? Nope. No. No, be, all right. be honest with yourself, <laughs> man. Right. Be honest with yourself. No, 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 no. I'll be honest. Like, but... Uh, I just feel like it's just because there's more of it can be shown. Like, is that you're his seven fault? foot? No, it's none of it's his fault. Okay. But it's just not LeBron's fault that he's better either. Well, let me chime in. Who's the better scorer? KD. <laughs> be honest with yourself. Oh, yeah, he shoots pretty good. <laughs> I mean, that's fine because oh, yeah. I mean, because oh, this is actually. A good but one. see, I I feel like if you it's, it depends on depends on the off. All around, Never mind. all around. No, it doesn't. Katie's better offensively. I'm not even gonna open that door on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is the most efficient scorer between the two? I think that is like that's low key. Nah. Like you would think that. Oh, it sounds open and close, LeBron. But the way Katie just get to his spots, rise Katie above, is, is effortless. Dangerous. His I don't know if it's dangerous. I don't know if there's a better shot in the league you don't right want now to foul than Katie's mid range. <laughs> I mean, he just it's pull an up. open shot once he jumps. LeBron runs He's seven foot. Over. Brian, yeah. so it's just as easy. That's but. what I think. I- KD slides through the lane though. It's kind of like he's so long. It's just like when he yeah, come through the lane, he just. What's the name? Uh, just more. LeBron. That is a fair argument. That's a really LeBron. Good question. LeBron is still more efficient to me, but it's it's literally it's simply only because of the style of play. Yeah. Like I, that's one as much as me talking against KD, I won't hold against him because I still feel like KD's a super efficient scorer. But if I'm running, if I'm jumping over you, like if I'm literally a train running over you and dunking the ball, of course I'm more efficient. That's just not KD's style. Better of play. defender. I like LeBron defense. I don't know what y'all I think. think KD's a no, I ain't say you like. I said, but. I think KD's a better defender. I think we get I think we get caught up into a lot of them chase down blocks. I think mm-hmm. KD, like KD because he, by him and this is like this is no knock on LeBron, but by KD being so long, that also helps. 
Because KD, KD, KD plays them passing lanes Let's by see. being so long. I can, I, mean, fair, I can fairly say, I can fairly say, even with it going against me, I can fairly say, I didn't pay KD's defense no mind until recently. And I ain't like the last, I didn't either. Like, like the last two seasons. I've never said, like when people are like, he can't stick defense. I've never seen yeah. him just flat out. And I think we just were so defense. mesmerized by his offensive, offensive game, we just, just like, never really realized that KD actually played his defense. No, I, I, I just good. think I never really played in no At mind. the point where we're talking about him potentially a defensive player of the year. Yeah, I, I, I just feel like I didn't – previously I didn't pay his defense any type of mind. But he does the no, right things to me. He he a good – I mean, he's, he's seven foot. Like, he, it's just seven foot and being able to move how he moves, yeah. it's not typical. I think that's where the – what those questions are. I think that's where the problem comes in in these type of debates is KD skills are like their top ever. Like it's, they all may be better than LeBron, but it's his still, presence. Like, and that's where it's things that you can't LeBron, LeBron. It's things that you can't. No, nah, you give LeBron the presence. Because you give that's, the, pres- the team leadership. And every, see, the that's winning my thing. Things. And that's why I didn't want to bring up numbers this time. Because yeah. I want to go off what he said last week. Because mm-hmm. that's how I feel with LeBron. Yeah. Because the presence alone, I just, I don't feel like KD has that presence on the team. He doesn't. And that's, and that's, that's and, and I'm not, and I love KD. And that's one thing about him. He doesn't, he's not, he's not always the best leader. But. He shows everything he needs to do on the court when it's time to do it. I feel like I can't really – I don't think I – and it's 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 kind of biased because I am a LeBron fan, but I just feel like I'm not going to see it until he's not on that team. KD? Until KD's not on that team. I'm not going to see it. Until KD, like, you know, makes some noise and does something I don't have. That's why I that I don't have a – I don't have a – um, practically their whole starting five it could be, if it was still East and West, could be – the starting five in the All Star game. Who's like the best that's player on insane. State, honestly, so who's the best player? Yeah. Oh, I'm Brown McKay. That's oh, easy. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not one of them people that says because I'm not one of the people that says Steph is like a, a top three player. I'm not. No, I just think Steph is the most. I think he's good at what player. he does. Yeah, yeah, he's the most special player in the NBA right yeah. now. Yeah, and like I'm not taking away from him as much as I hate being the team playing against him, yeah. but he's just not that to me. He's, who's more unguardable? And see, that's that's one thing too. I'm talking about like when you look at like people to try to diminish him because he's on that team. Like we know all of them. You can't a lot of them. You can't leave open. I was about to say because that that but, unguardable thing is. But is, unguard, is when weird. I say unguardable, it's like the whole NBA unguardable. Huh? The whole NBA is unguardable. KD is just like you said. He's a seven foot. He's basically. The, I always said about KD was KD is a shooting guard. KD is literally a shooting guard trapped in a trap. He's a shooting guard with center height. And he's long like a wing. At the end of the day, KD came in the league playing like a shooting guard. Like he just he's just so tall. They're not gonna say KD plays shooting guard, but we know that ultimately KD is literally a shooting guard. I think we made some progress. Do you think you shifted anywhere towards KD? Absolutely then? not. No. Any, I mean, no, no. Once once not. once KD's not, you know, after they get their three P and hopefully he leaves, <laughs> we can revisit this conversation. That's fair. That's yeah. fair. Because I told the Knicks dream, they yeah. woke. Katie yeah. and Katie and, oh, yeah, and I'll be rooting for him if he comes there. Draymond, you're not welcome. <laughs> 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 right. You always need that dog, man. I'm, <laughs> and let's recap these last week games and see how we did as far as our predictions. And then let's do it for this upcoming week. Okay. okay. All right. So let's just recap last week games real quick. The big games. We had the Sixers going against the Celtics. You had the Sixers. We both had the Celtics. Celtics won. Yeah. That didn't pan out too well. Thunder Warriors. We all had the Warriors. Warriors won. Yeah. The Mavericks and the Suns. We all had the Mavs. But we did not have the information that Devin Booker I was swear. I thought, I, I thought he was still out. I can't remember, but I rem- I think we literally said Devin Booker's not playing. And we was like, yeah. man. So, like, we was like, yeah, that was the going why. this way. Because of DeAndre Jordan and all them trying to have their big first game. Yeah. Yeah. And then Aiden did terrible. better than I thought he would against Jordan, so that was shocking. But and then we got the Heat and the Magic, which was Wade's. The he's beginning his last season. We had the Magic. You had the Heat. Magic won. Yeah. 
I'm it right was a, it came game. down to I'm, I'm just saying, man. They barely lost, man. It was a good game. Hey, man. A loss is a loss. We ain't, ain't picking. First. We ain't picking scores. <laughs> you can't first your last. We had the Timberwolves and the Spurs. We all picked the Spurs. It was right. Uh, the Lakers. Uh, we also just found out Jimmy Butler's not playing tonight. He's sitting down for rest. Might be a trade in the works. Mm-hmm. Go see. Yeah. Yeah, the Lakers Blazers. We all had the Lakers, but. We didn't know the owner was going to pass away and create all this emotion and everything. So, that was a mistake. Knicks and Nets. We picked the Nets. <laughs> Sorry, I just... Bro, okay. Next Same, you know. Celtics, Raptors. You both had the Raptors and y'all was correct. I had the Celtics. I thought they were going to... Why you flip-flop like that, man? No, like, because <laughs> playoffs... I don't take this regular season okay. stuff as the same as playoffs. Sure. So, I be thinking... Upsets can happen, and mm. I was just wrong. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad I was wrong. We, li- we listened to you. You see, that's how we picked that pick. We was like, literally, hey, you know, I'm, you I'm happy opened my eyes out, to the team. I'm happy that it worked out, though, for them, because I do want them to beat the Celtics. But Warriors, Jazz, we all went Warriors, but we didn't know it was going to be such a good game. It came out they to, came the, buzzer to the last beater, second. A buzz beater by Jonas Jerepko. Mm-hmm. Right. Hmm. Foreign player, huh? All right, and we got the big games for this week, and we go through and pick them. Um, we got the Rockets, Lakers home debut. Lakers, Lakers, showtime. Lakers. All right, we got a big battle in the East. The Raptors are going to the Washington to play the Wizards. I got the Raptors. Raptors going to Washington. What the White still out? Oh, he was a little, yeah. okay. Raptors made it. I mean, yeah. either way, that was going Raptors there. But the Warriors and the Nuggets, this is going to be a fast, up paced game. Got the Warriors. I think this is going to be the upset. You got Nuggets? Yeah. I got it's Warriors. I think I'm going to ride with the Nuggets on that I'm game. I'm going Warriors. Wait, where is it at? Season. It's in, um, oh, no, this is in, no, yeah, it's in um, Denver. It's in Denver. I'm going with, I'm going with the Warriors. Warriors. If it was in Oakland, mm-mm. I just don't, mm mm. I ride with them if it was in Oakland, but in Denver, I think this is gonna be the upset game. Okay, then we got the Wizards and the Blazers. The pretty much, I I put that one on there because I call them each other. The, like I think that the war, the Wizards are the Blazers of the East, and the Blazers yeah. are the Wizards. I was of the just about to say that's probably like the most I, I evenly got, matched. I'm gonna go Blazers. I'm gonna go Blazers too because we don't know if the White playing in that one because that one is in on the 22nd. So, yeah, I'll ride with the Blazers. All right, we're going Blazers. We got the Spurs and the Lakers. Showtime uh, Laker game. Mm, Spurs. I'm going Lakers. You went Spurs? Uh, no, nah, I said that's a tough one. Oh, um, wait, wait, wait. No, because um, no, I ride with the Lakers because they, you know, they got way. injuries against them and everything. Mm-hmm. Home or away? Uh, Lakers are at home. Lakers. Let me just confirm that. Uh, Lakers and who are you talking about the Spurs? Spurs. Yeah, let me just confirm that. Yep, they're at LA. So I got Lakers. Lakers. Yeah, I'm right with the Lakers. All right, we got the Jazz and the Rockets playoff rematch. Give me the Jazz. Jazz. I'm gonna take the Jazz too. <laughs> uh, the, you gonna like this one? The Mavericks at the uh, in Atlanta. Luca versus Doncic. Give me the they Mavs. traded for each other. I'm right with the Mavs. Yeah, I mean, my Hawks are just terrible. You yeah. think you think uh, Young gonna have a good game? He's he's starting to like. I mean, it's two games in, but he look, he's starting to remind me of Brandon Jennings. Mm. That could be good and bad. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That's ooh. The Pacers and the Spurs. This is just gonna be a good game. Like ooh. that's gonna be I'm gonna a go, good. I'm game. gonna go Pacers. I'm, I'm going, going Pacers. Pacers too. Yeah, I think I'll do both of them. You know what? Forget y'all. I'm going with Demar. What am I thinking? Demar. No MVP. He's thinking smart. Yeah. No, I'm going Demar. We got to start this MVP run. And then we got the Sixers. Oh my god. <laughs> we got we got the Sixers and the Bucks. Big East battle. Giannis, Ben Ooh, Simmons. I'm gonna take the Sixers. I don't know, bro. I, know, I wanted bro. to take that. The only I'm thing that got me question is like I really just I really like that book Lopez pick up. I really don't know with this one. Yeah, I I'm think a, I'm going to ride with what's the name. It's early in the season, I'm ride too. I'm with my boy, Ben. Nah, I'm, I'm going with the Bucks. It's early in the season, too. And B going to go crazy. That one. Uh, Giannis going to go crazy. <laughs> I don't care. Like, he's going to light it up. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go Bucks. That's the top. I'm going to go Bucks, though. I don't like that one, but okay, whatever. Uh, the Wizards and the Warriors. Wall versus Curry. Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. Celtics, Thunder. Russ, met, Russ should be back. Celtics, Thunder. Celtics. No, Rush first coming back. I'm going to ride with the Thunder. 
Mm, sorry, the Rams with the games. Uh, the Rams with Thunder early on. Tatum finna go crazy. Mm. Russ gonna be Russ. It's in Oklahoma. <laughs> this could be um, Russell Westbrook's debut. That's it, it's it's all if he plays or if he don't play though. That's a slide. I'm not worried. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say Celtics. No, I'm gonna. I'm going with the Thunder. I'm. Mo- <clears throat> it ain't that much in question. I got the Celtics. I'm, I'm going Thunder. I'm, no, I'm going Celtics. I'm going Celtics because I got them starting hot. Celtics, done. Next. All right, moving on. <laughs> Lakers and the Nuggets. The Lakers are at home. Playoff position. This could be a big battle for that. Didn't they have some good games in the uh, preseason, too? Uh, uh, yeah, they I did. Think, they did. They, they did. played back-to-back. Ooh. Is IT playing? He might be still hurt. But yeah. if he if he is playing, it'll man, be his debut. Yolo, give me the Lakers, man. Yeah, I'm going Lakers. That's, that wasn't even a question. We just yeah. bringing stuff up. I'll go Lakers for that one. Dun- now, this is like how when we did the Blazers-Lakers, we all said Lakers, but I said that could be a game where the Blazers try and send a message. That could be a game when the Nuggets welcome LeBron to the West. Like, I, I think a factor, and that's going to be the bigs, too. I think JaVale going to have to hoop in that game. Ooh, he can't even really get tired. Yeah. Ooh, and they got Millsap, too. Yeah. That's, that's, that's going to be a game where the bigs matter. I don't to care. JaVel going to have to Give hoop. Give me the Lakers. JaVel who Ball going to have an excellent game. I'm it calling it now. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. They need the bigs to have an excellent they gonna game. They going to run with them too. Because Ball they, gonna get a they guard just going to – I mean – I'm going on on them. Ball De- getting a dub. Denver <laughs> – I appreciate you watching this week. It's relevant ignorance. All right. Appreciate you know. my brother, Zach. My brother, Kirby. I'm Meech. <laughs> this is fan song. A fan can be a fan. Relevant ignorance. We out of here. We out, y'all.